Imagine you're sending electricity through a wire. In a normal wire, like the copper in your phone charger, the electricity fights its way through. It bumps into atoms, loses energy, and turns some of that energy into heat. That's why your charger gets warm. That's called resistance. Nah, I'm not playing that game. Electricity can flow through me forever with zero resistance. No heat, no energy loss, nothing. That's superconductivity. It's like turning the wire into a perfect highway with no speed limits, no traffic, and no friction. Superconductivity only turns on when the material gets extremely cold. We're talking colder than Antarctica in winter, colder than outer space in some places. Old school superconductors, like mercury or lead, need to be cooled to about minus 269 degrees Celsius or 4 Kelvin. That's almost absolute zero. High temperature superconductors discovered in the 1980s are the rock stars. They work at minus 196 degrees Celsius, which is the temperature of liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is actually pretty cheap and easy to get. So, what are the uses of superconductivity? Superconductivity isn't just a lab toy. It's already changing the world. It is used in MRI machines in hospitals. It also find applications in maglev trains in Japan and China, in power transmission lines to reduce losses, in particle accelerators, like the Large Hadron Collider, and in quantum computers and super sensitive detectors. Thanks for watching. Follow us for more interesting tech facts.